Imagine living in a world where signs of destruction are all around you. But most people are so distracted by the trivialities of everyday life that they can't see what's about to happen. What would you do if you knew that the most terrifying prophecies of all time were already unfolding, and you, without realizing it, were at the center of it all? The third secret of Fatima, partially revealed by the Vatican, speaks of apocalyptic events, wars, spiritual destruction, and catastrophes that will affect all humanity. And now more than ever experts point out that the epicenter of these events may be in the United States. Yes, right where you live, work, raise your family, and perhaps feel like everything is under control. But is it really? The message received by the three children is terrible, and over the years just reading the prophecy has terrified those who have had the opportunity to read it. To this day, many years after this prodigious event, there are many unanswered questions, and some of them make us think that the message that was made public, and that we all know, may not be the original. Before proceeding, I invite you to subscribe to the channel to join our community of faith and prayer. A few years after the events related to Fatima, two of the three children who witnessed the prodigy, Lucia and Jacinta, died due to the Spanish flu. The only remaining witness to this incredible encounter is Lucia, who later decides to consecrate herself to Christ becoming a nun. Or can you see what many don't want to see? That all of this could be connected to something much bigger, something that was predicted more than a hundred years ago. What if I told you that the worst part is yet to come? Yes, the third secret does not just speak of physical destruction, but of a spiritual battle, an invisible fight between good and evil, where only those who are prepared will survive. Here is the text formatted as requested, without any summary. Dear Brothers and Sisters, The story of the secrets of Fatima begins on July 13, 1917, when three children, Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia, confessed to having met the Virgin Mary and receiving a prophetic message. The signs are already here, and time is running out. Since the third secret of Fatima was revealed, many have tried to interpret its messages, and what was believed to be a distant warning now seems more and more real. Can you feel the tension? The polarization between good and evil has never been so clear. Destructive ideologies are eroding the values that have kept our society afloat for so long, and morality, once an unshakable pillar, is disintegrating before your eyes. The United States, a nation that for centuries was considered a land of freedom and hope, is now embroiled in an unprecedented spiritual and moral crisis. Natural disasters, increasingly intense and frequent, are devastating the country. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods. Does this seem normal to you? If you stop for a moment and look around you, you will see that something is very wrong. Political crises, devastating natural disasters, morality being torn apart, divisions we have never seen before. These are the signs that the third secret of Fatima may already be in motion. But the truth that no one wants to tell you is that you are not prepared for what is to come. And that's what worries me. Because while some still ignore it, there are those who have already started to prepare, aware that life as we know it could be about to change drastically. And you? What have you done to protect yourself from an approaching spiritual and physical catastrophe? I guarantee that you will acquire a lot of knowledge after reading this sensational book, written with great care and love for all the subscribers of our channel, completely based on the Holy Bible. The link is in the first pinned comment. Therefore let us pray like the three little shepherds in Fatima, and ask for the conversion of all humanity. Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you deeply, and offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the earth, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference towards the which he himself is offended and by the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, and the heart of poor sinners. Don't forget to download our book, The Secret Behind Biblical Prophecies. There are already more than 500,000 copies sold, and we are at the last units, so don't waste time and enjoy. However, unfortunately, 
We know that the Catholic Church is facing one of the most difficult periods in its history. She needs to deal with external enemies, but perhaps the most dangerous are the internal ones. Apostasy, scandals and corruption are undermining the faith of many, and the world seems increasingly far from peace. The Holy Father's efforts to stop the war that is increasing international tension have so far yielded no results. The voice of our beloved Holy Father is like the voice of a man screaming in the desert, and his voice remains unheard by the great ones of the earth. Dear brothers and sisters, We are living in difficult times, but we must not lose hope. We must not give in to fear. We must never forget that even in the darkest night God is by our side. Why then was only this third part decided not to be revealed, even going against a prescription from the Blessed Virgin? And why do the Chronicles report that all the popes who read it were so shocked? Pope Benedict's statements raised even more doubts. When answering a question about Fatima, he stated that it would be a serious mistake to believe that the prophetic message had already been completely fulfilled. But what did Benedict XVI mean by this statement? If the message of Fatima was not completed, does this mean that the third part of the secret does not refer to the attack suffered by Pope Voitila? Is there therefore a part that has not yet been revealed or has been misinterpreted? Dear Brothers and Sisters, We currently do not have an answer to this question. As we have seen, there is only a description of the vision that the three children had missing the part in which the Virgin Mary explains the meaning of that vision, as occurs in the previous revelations that make up the apparitions of Fatima. The behavior over the years of some high-ranking representatives of the Catholic Church, including Pope Benedict XVI, also strengthens these claims. If we read the complete revelation that the three shepherd children received at Fatima, we realize that the third part of the secret is indeed terrible as it describes the city of Rome and the Vatican destroyed by an unspecified event and the death of the Holy Father. However, the previous revelation prophesied World War II as well. He crosses a city destroyed by an unidentified catastrophe or conflict and climbs to the top of a mountain where he is killed along with other prelates. Many believe that this vision was fulfilled with the failed attack on Pope John Paul II. After all, he believed all his life that he was saved by the mercy of the Virgin Mary, who deflected the bullet fired by the shooter. However, not everyone is convinced that the prophecy was fulfilled with the attack on the Pope. For many, the third secret of Fatima has not yet come true, and the text released in 2000 would not contain the entire prophetic message. Those who believe that the third part of the message is not complete claim that the evidence lies in the very nature of the message revealed in the third secret. The third part of the Fatima message was written by Sister Lucia in 1944, but was not revealed until 1960. Those who read it were so shocked that they did not want to publish it. The secret was revealed to the general public only in 2000 by Pope St. John Paul II. The third secret of Fatima is the most mysterious of the three and still causes discussions today. There is still an intense debate surrounding it today. In fact, the third secret has a very different content. While the first two secrets are quite clear, the third secret seems more symbolic and mysterious. The vision described in the third part of the Fatima message has as its protagonist a man dressed in white, who the three visionaries indicate as the Holy Father. In 1942 we were at the height of the Second World War, and the second secret of Fatima seems to have predicted it 24 years in advance. Sister Lucia herself identifies in the incredible Aurora Borealis that occurred on the night of January 25, 1938, lighting up the skies across Europe, the sign that the Virgin Mary had previously indicated as the beginning of divine punishment. The Aurora Borealis of 1938 was a rare and atypical phenomenon, usually occurring at very different latitudes, while in this case it was possible to observe it even in Rome. If these are the first two secrets, in which the first describes hell and the second announces the Second World War, the third secret of Fatima remained a mystery for many years. The beginning of the war would be announced by a luminous phenomenon that would illuminate the night. This would be the sign that God was about to punish the world. 
To avoid war, the Virgin Mary communicated to the three children that the only way was to consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and convert it to the Catholic faith. While the first secret of Fatima is a vision of hell, the second has a prophetic quality. Sister Lucia wrote, at the invitation of Monsignor José Alves Correa da Silva, the first two parts of the prophetic message in 1941, 24 years after the visions. However, the events and messages were only made public in 1942 by Pope Pius XIII on the occasion of the consecration of the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The revelation to Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia was divided into three parts. The Three Secrets Although in reality, it is a single vision, the first two parts were revealed, while the last part, known as the Third Secret of Fatima, by direct order of the Virgin Mary, would not be possible to reveal before the year 1960. The first part of Fatima's message is the Vision of Hell, where the souls of sinners would be immersed in a sea of fire. The second part, or Kant Second Secret, has very different characteristics. The vision would announce the arrival of a great war, a war that would punish the world for its crimes and the persecutions perpetrated against the Church and the Holy Father.